Android-powered smartphones and tablets both have the ability to run soft buttons on your home screen. Some manufacturers opt for physical buttons instead, but you can still put soft buttons there. This app lets you configure, customize, change, and even hide those soft buttons. With one caveat. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Let's go take a look. What we're talking about here is your nav bar or your soft buttons. Some devices have physical buttons on screen. Some have soft buttons. In this case, these are soft buttons. This is a Nexus 4. It is rooted. You are going to need super user to be able to get this to work. The name of the app is Ultimate Dynamic Nav Bar. Stay tuned to the end. We'll tell you how to get it on your device. The first thing you're going to do after installing the app is turn it on. You can see I've already done that. All of these are the default settings. Start at boot, so you'll always have this when your device starts up. Display notification, that's that little arrow up there in your notification bar. You can get rid of that if you want to. Toggle mode, that will uh, never hide itself automatically, blah, blah, blah. Let's get right to it, okay? If you notice, I've got this little teeny gray arrow down here in the bottom. If I tap on that, I get a nav bar or soft buttons, and it automatically hides away. That's great, but you can see it double stacks. I'll tell you why it does that at the end of the video. For the meantime, let's just take a look at this. Really cool, it's got some translucency to it, it's got all of your common buttons, and then you can even customize them. So let's look at that. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's enable buttons. From here you can see what we've got. Uh, button one is back and long press is menu. Now that's not this button, that's that button. So let's go ahead and long press that. There's no menu settings here, so it's not doing anything for me. Uh, button two is home with a long click action of none. Let's go ahead and change that. Uh, let's change that one. I don't know. What do we want to do? Let's change that to home too, just because we can. Uh, button four is our recent apps. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was three. Number four. Then let's make that a search button. And now you can see quickly we have search. Now that's neat. I always like having search right there, but it's not really what I want to show you. So in addition to being able to customize what buttons show up and what long presses do for those buttons, this is really what's kind of neat. You've also got you know the hideaway, which will really be cool at liberating some of that screen real estate once the developer can remove this stock navigation uh, bar down at the bottom safely. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, the other thing that you can do is change the theme and behavior. So let's take a look at themes first. Right now we're running the default Nexus theme. So if you look at it, the icons look identical to what I'm running at the bottom. That's cool. I like it, but you know, let's change it. How about Motorola? There's the Motorola theme. Change it again. HTC. That looks like your HTC buttons. Change it again. Facebook. Your Facebook buttons. And last but not least, Xperia. And that's what the Xperia buttons look like. Just to make it look a little bit different, let's, uh, let's set it to Motorola for the time being, just so you can see. We can also change the height of the panel. If 48 pixels is too big, you can change it, make it smaller, just like that. Save even more space when it's in its open state. You don't have to hide it. That's another thing. So you can have that unhidden and just drop that down from the, the space that it occupies now to whatever size you want. Or if you've got it set to auto hide, you can make the buttons even bigger, just like that. Really kind of neat. You can do what you want with it. Again, as soon as the developer can get rid of this safely. And version 0.94, he did. Version 0.95, he turned that off because it was somewhat dangerous. You can also get into transparency. So let's go ahead and make the transparency a bit higher. So now you can see through it a little bit more kind of reducing the impact that it has, the visual impact on your uh, your experience. You can see the background behind it. That doesn't do a lot here, but I'll show you on the home screen. Let's make it last a little bit longer. The showing state, let's make that last a little longer too. So let's come on over here to, uh, there's my background. How do you like that? And you can see big buttons with transparency. I probably want to go back in and make that a little bit darker, a little bit less transparent, but that's my preference and yours could be different. The name of the app is Ultimate Dynamic Nav Bar and it is available at XDA Developers. We'll have a link to the exact thread and where you can download the app over in the article at pocketnow.com. This version was version 0.095. It is a beta. It is a work in progress. It works pretty well with one caveat. 
the ability to hide your stock soft buttons has been temporarily disabled because there was some kind of a problem with people bricking devices, which isn't a good thing. So for now, you have two. That might be okay if you want to hide your nav bar some other way, which you can do, or if you just want to go in and customize or add other frequently used buttons that you don't want taking up screen real estate. If you've got questions, comments, or want to participate in the discussion, make sure you head over to pocketnow.com. If you liked what you saw, share this stuff with your friends on any of your social media networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.